pretended to make this video so many times but I never thought I'd like actually make it where I'm actually talking about stuff that happened to me. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> Fangirls and fanboys of all sorts, my name is Margie, aka That Strawberry Blonde here. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you've never seen my face before. If you want, you can subscribe down below. It literally takes two seconds to totally make this poor little fangirl stay. I'm going to try and keep this intro short, because these this is going to be a long video, and there's probably going to be like two, three, or four of these. <laughs> So basically, these sets of videos is going to be my experience at the Once Upon a Time Chicago convention, which is truly one of the best experiences of my life because it was so fun and amazing and I just can't wait to tell you all about it. I want to say that I am not bragging in this video, I am very, very fortunate that I got to go. I am incredibly thankful that I got to go because, it, like I said, it really was one of the best experiences ever. This was not only my Christmas present, but you know, like my birthday present, my valentine's present, my easter present, etc, etc, because it was such a big gift. And some of the stuff at the con I paid for with my own money. Just want to put that out there with that, <laughs> that out of the way, let's just get right into the video. Okay, I guess we can start on Thursday of last week, or June 8th. I wake up, we're going pretty slow, it's kind of, we're just, we, pa we literally packed that morning, got everything I needed ready that morning. The night before we had got all my, all the stuff I wanted signed printed and then my little folder it's freaking out we put all of our stuff in the car and then all of a sudden like we're about to leave but like the front door is open so I went to close it I had another reason for coming back in here I don't really remember what it was but anyways I come back in here I run into my room and I just look around and then I start getting emotional I'm like the next time I walk in here I will have met my favorite people and that's like basically what I came in here to do and then I like very slowly walk out of my room and walk out of the house, tears in my eye. <laughs> you wanna talk to people? I don't know what to say. Where are you heading? Chicago. What's the day? The 8th of June. We get in the car and we don't even make it five minutes before I start crying. I'm like freaking out and the drive is like seven hours. <laughs> Anyways, I calm down, I watch some YouTube, just fiddle around on my phone, which isn't much different from what I do at home than in the car, so. It was fine. I did film some of the scenery and stuff, so appreciate the awesome vlog montage. <laughs> Just because I was going to try and make a vlog, but the vlog wouldn't make much sense if I don't explain stuff in between, but there is a lot of clips in here that are actually live from the con and stuff. Leave at 11am and we get there at around 7.30ish and pre-registration opened at 7.15. Pre-registration is for everybody who has the gold package. I got the gold package. We come into the Westin O'Hare Hotel. By the way, when I saw the Westin, I like started freaking out. The car was shaking because I was screaming and stuff. There's a lot of planes. Is that you shaking the car? Is it? Something shaking the car. Yes, her. Her light legs are oh my word. wiggling. <laughs> the waterfalls. That's it right there. Where? The west one. Ah! Okay! Okay! I'm fine! I'm fine! I might should have turned around. Ah! Sorry, I didn't mean to scream. It's right there. It's, 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 it's right there. We're right there. We're, we're, the, we're here. Alright, we're going to... Should we do registration or self-parking first? Um, I don't film too. 
But anyways, we come into the hotel and then we are in the pre-registration line. Basically, you go through this line, we talk to some people, but you go through this line and this is the first line of many. Okay, so before we even got all of our gold thing, this guy, <laughs> I see this little girl run by and then I see like her dad like real close. So I like just turned my head up to look at the dad and then I see him wearing like the Bex's like beer shirt and then I look up more and the guy just goes, hi, and I'm just like, hi. And then I'm like, wait, that was Michael Coleman. <laughs> guy who plays Happy the Dwarf, he was just wandering around as if no one was going to notice him. So I start getting emotional. Are you filming me? Michael Coleman walked by. Michael Coleman walked past me and said hi. Michael Coleman walked past me and said hi. I was like, wait. <laughs> I analyzed his face and he looked at me and went, hi. And I was like, hi. So they scan your PDF file and then they do a little mark through it to say it's already been scanned so you know you don't. I have any troubles with that. Okay, we got uh, Gia's and George, 28. Step on up, please. Hi, next. So they give you this card, and then they give you a plain black lanyard. So, hear what I'm saying. Not this one. This is mine. But they give you a plain black lanyard and this card. So then you just slip the card in there, and you put it over your head. Oh, yeah. Also, at the gold registration thing, they give you this little wristband. Is this okay? Let's go. Oh no, I'm in the video. Yeah. So then we asked what we need to do next. They said if you have photo ops for Colin or Lana, go into that little line. It's a really short line. We go over there and then this guy in front of us turns around and starts talking to us. And I'm freaking out because he looks like Colin and Donahue, like exactly like him. He looks like a mini Colin, like a slimmer, younger Colin. Talking about like Merlin and Supernatural, we're just having a nice conversation. Plus, that he's cosplaying Hook and he cosplays Hook the whole weekend. And, oh my goodness. <laughs> I, um, so anyways, we go through the line and we give them the call-in PDF file and they get- oh, I need this again. And after I give them the call-in PDF file, they give us- so in exchange for the PDF, fi PDF file, they give us a hard ticket. We ask where to line up to trade in our Jennifer Morrison PDF file or my Jennifer and Colin duo photo op since she canceled which is sad so me and well my mom's waiting and holding our place since they're not going anywhere quick we go through me and my dad go get some stuff from the car bring it back in we see Michael a couple more times and then we bring her stuff to the hotel room and then we come back down and I go get hop in the voucher line of my mom and she has only moved like a few steps. <laughs> so then we wait in that line and we talk with some people, we exchange Twitter names, that kind of thing, and then we go through and we're getting close. Michael Coleman walks by again. And then my dad texts us like, oh, he's up here with his guitar, just literally ca sit just ca casually sitting at the front of the hotel playing his guitar like no one's gonna notice him. So then we get our Jen stuff, we get our voucher for Jen, and then I buy the photo ops for Emily and Michael, little happy swan, I just need basically, you know, registration crap. Then, we come back, we're like headed to our hotel room, and then sure enough, here's Michael just playing his guitar. Mom starts talking to him, I had to cut the first part of the video out because he asked where we're from and stuff, but smart me, I literally just like grab my phone and hit record. Cause like, I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> at the beginning of the conversation we told him we just brought a photo op with him and he's like, I'll see you at our photo op. And then we're walking away and my mom drops her phone and I honestly thought it was me falling. <laughs> but anyways, here's the video. So, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wonder yeah. this is gonna be, this is gonna be the biggest one we've had yet. Oh, really? Yeah, this is gonna really? be insane. And we got so many fun people coming out. Uh -huh. so well, we really people. appreciate y'all hanging out. Is this your family? This is my family, yeah. My oh. wife, my daughters, yeah. So that was really cool and pretty much all we did after that is we went up the elevator into our hotel room and then my dad makes an online order for noodles and company and then we go and pick it up literally right as they're closing. We come back, it's like 10 and we eat our food and then we go to sleep. So now it is... Friday, June the 9th, and we don't have really anything starting until 1.30ish. So, 
Okay, so basically that morning, I don't even know what time I woke up. It was not like super early, but it wasn't like super late. So I think we went to downstairs to breakfast and then I just kind of put on some comfy clothes. I put on like some leggings and then like my Captain Swan sweatshirt hoodie thingy my bobber. And then that, when I was doing my makeup that morning, I realized I was really low on eyeshadow. So then we went to Ulta to get some eyeshadow and then we went to Walgreens to get some calming medicine for me, some stuff for my dad, that kind of thing. So we come back to the hotel and my mom has general admission tickets because we just wanted her to be able to walk around with me. So she wasn't able to register the night before because she wasn't gold, only I got to do that. So then she gets her general admission things, having that concert. We do some exchange, some more photo ops, and then I, whoa, this is a big deal. I use my voucher that I got and I exchange it for um, a Lana and Colin duo just because um, I wanted to hug Colin again and I wasn't gonna be I wasn't gonna be able to get a photo op of Lana because those sold out. So then I also trade in my Bex photo op for her ticket and I also buy a Lee Arnberg photo op. <laughs> a lot of stuff going on. And eventually I go back upstairs and I change clothes into what I was gonna wear that day at the con and I come back downstairs, I meet my friend Jackie and also somewhere at that point I meet some I meet some friends from Instagram and the theater opened at 1245 but nothing started till 115 and that was basically welcome with Michael Coleman who plays happy. But then we have Q&A with Gil McKinney or Prince Eric and he is hilarious. That, that was great. He's hilarious. Okay, so we walk into the theater and I'm like freaking out. It's so magical. Like they're playing once music and I like the seats, my seat was so good. I was, what number? I was G28, wasn't I? Yeah, I was G28. That's like the seventh row. But it was so good. Like, I was like, there's like a, this side, middle, this side. So I was like, the second seat on this side, seventh row. And it was still really, really good. So then we leave, and I have a small break. Talk, and then I come back down, and we have another panel with Michael Coleman, who plays Happy. So I decided to go up and ask a question, and everybody laughs at my question. I asked, what do you think would happen if Happy became the dark one? And it was cool, and yeah. I was wondering what would happen if Happy became the dark one. <laughs> that is so crazy. Um, I'll tell you, I know exactly what would happen. It would be ridiculous, because I'll tell you right now, my six brothers would take turns making me do stupid stuff and hold the dagger, and all six of those jerks would take turns making me do Absolutely most ridiculous. I would never get to really be a cool dark one. <laughs> it would be insane. It would be a funny episode, but I don't think it would be a scary episode. That's a great question. Thank you for that. So then after that we have a QA with Raphael Sabarge who plays Gemini Cricket. And during this time period I like tweeted out something because he said something about like Je he remembers looking up at Jen during the musical episode, just smiling so brightly and was like genuinely having a good time, you know, like not just because she was acting, but it was like she was really having a good time, the whole cast was. So I tweet that out and it got like, I, I don't even know how many, 172 retweets and 343, <laughs> 343 likes. Okay, so then that's when all the panels ended for Friday, but we, le we left Raphael's panel early so I could go to, so I could go up stairs and change shirts because I was gonna wear a different shirt for my Michael Coleman photo op and he's dressing up like all these characters like earlier in the day he dressed up like snow now he's dressed up like Emma so in that time period I go upstairs and I put on my LL you're not Jennifer Morrison shirt because I kind of thought that'd be funny because he's dressed like Jen. so we get to the photo op I'm literally like the first person there, first person in line. I'm really glad I got to do this too because I would have had no experience with photo ops. So Friday was kind of like a practice run so I'd be ready for Saturday and Sunday. So I was the first person in line. I get my picture with Michael, he laughs at my shirt. And then they're like, oh, you're gonna have to retake it since it was like four people in the line. They just sent me to the back and I took it again. And he's like, hello again. And we get a picture and then we leave. And which one should I do, Bohemian Rhapsody or the other one, the Summer Nights? How do you put all that makeup on and not look ridiculous? Years of practice. <laughs> <laughs> Those floors first. This is four. 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 Like 15 minutes maybe after that. They, they start calling for autographs for Michael Coleman and Gil McKinney. 
so happy and Eric. I'm gonna take Hollis row by row and that does really take a long time. You gotta be ready. It's very exhausting. So like I have my portable phone charger and I'm just messing on my phone waiting for my row to be called. And they call our row. They call row G and our row gets up and then we get in line for Gail's autograph and they look at your little card thing and the, it's numbered one through nine at the top. So every time you get an autograph for gold, they X out the number so you can't like try and sneak a number one. It just lets you know you've got that autograph, you can't get it again. They also get a sticky note because people are personalizing and they ask you how to spell your name and they stick it on the thing you want. Autograph this, and I guess I'll tell you about Gil's first because that's the first one I went to. You can kind of already see all the other signatures, but that doesn't matter. You haven't heard the stories yet. Okay, so pretty much uh, Gil's is down here in this corner right here. And it says Margie, and it has a little heart. Always hope, Gil McKinney, and, and then quotes Eric. So the story for this one is the the girl in front of me, I sit directly by when we're, you know, in seats for panels and stuff. So she tells him she's from Texas, and he's like, oh, I'm from Texas too. And he looks at me, oh, where are you from? Like, includes me in their conversation. I, I tell him where I'm from. They talk about Texas. He's being funny. They do the autograph. Blah. She goes, and then he's just like, are you guys friends? And we're like, no, no, no. <laughs> it sounded really weird. We were like, like we hadn't even spoke to each other. And then we're just, we just all of a sudden like smile and start acting like we were really good friends or something. And he was like, she, well, then we were both like, we sit right beside each other though. And we were like, well, you're friends now. So basically Gil McKinney made us friends. And then, yeah. But you hand the thing to a person and they slide it down the table as you go. So then he's like, blah, blah, blah. And he reads my, he, is it Margie or Margie? And I'm like, Margie. And he's like, I don't meet too many Margies. And I was like, yeah. I said, no, you don't. And then I was like, I'm surprised you said my name right. And he was like, and then he laughed. And then I was, I said, and he's just continue signing. And I go, Thank you so much. And he says, it was nice to meet you. And then I tell him really quickly, your panel was hilarious. And he laughs. And then I walk off. And so then after I walk off, I go straight to the back of Michael Coleman's line. And I wait. And then we get up to Michael. And the same girl is in front of me. And then he's like, is that your boyfriend on your shirt? And um, she's wearing a hook shirt. And she goes, yes, yes, this is my husband. And I'm like dying. And he's like, wow, that's funny. He's um never mentioned you. Awkward. And Michael's being like really funny about it. It's really cool. And then it's my turn, and then I hand him, and then the lady hands him my thing. And then he goes, wow, this is really cool. Did you make this? And I'm like, yeah. He goes, you made this yourself. And I was like, yeah. And I literally made this just for the people that I didn't want headshots for, so I could just have them all sign it. And I literally just put the thing on here, typed some stuff, and then put some sparkles. I just did it all on like Pig Monkey or something like that. But he's like amazed with this and he keeps like genuinely repeating, wow, this is really cool. And then basically he signs, hi ho Marky, signs his signature and then goes, happy. Yeah, that's pretty much it for day one, I think. Oh yeah, also on Friday, I don't know when, but I met um, Kayla from 780 Attic. She's super sweet in person. We got pictures, we hung out. This is so weird in person. I was you. I was Hi! Like, oh, I so very yeah. She's filming for my channel. Going to be all over the place. And then um, the, my friend Jackie I mentioned earlier. I, hang, I hung out with her and Kayla and they did karaoke pretty much. Fans could sign up earlier and they get a chance to sing on stage with the cast, that kind of thing. And the people that were up there singing was like pretty much just Gail McKinney, Beverly Elliott, Michael Coleman, Raphael Sabarge. There wasn't a ton of people, none of the main cast was there, just that kind of range of people. So pretty much I stayed there and danced and we sang and we had a good time. <laughs> And then I left early because I wanted to be able to get some sleep because I was going to be calling the next morning. So then we left a little bit early and I came back upstairs and I got ready for bed and I went to sleep. <laughs> then you'll just have to wait for the next video to tell me for you to hear about um, me meeting Colin.